In this video, we will learn how to derive the aggregate demand curve from the IS and LM curves. Okay, so uh, the aggregate demand curve is derived on the basic law of demand. That is, when price decreases, demand will increase, and vice versa. Other things remaining constant, what we call the Sirtius parameters. Okay, so let us uh, suppose uh, initially that. IS and LM curves intersect to each other and let's draw them here. Let us say we have initially our, our IS curve is Let us say this is our IS curve initially and corresponding to this we have The LM curve. Let us say this is our initial LM curve. Okay, so suppose initially our IS and LM curves inter uh, intersect to each other at point Let us say it is a point E okay which denotes the general equilibrium you know there is simultaneous equilibrium that means at this point e both product market what we call the goods market and money market both are in equilibrium and let us say it is at equilibrium at an output level of let us say corresponding to this we have the output level of y naught and interest rate of I not in the economy okay so let me uh, you know again repeat suppose initially our is and lm curves intersect at point e so this e denotes our general equilibrium the equilibrium where our product market and money market are at equilibrium simultaneously corresponding to this point we have an output level of y naught and interest uh, rate of i naught okay now on the next graph let us say that is we draw another graph uh, on uh, horizontal axis we have the output and on vertical axis we have the general price level okay now corresponding to this you know output of y naught and let us uh, derive it here or let us take this y naught here and write it here okay initial output level we draw it here okay now corresponding to this output level of y naught and interest rate of i naught okay there prevails a price level uh, in this okay when we have any as uh, you know specific output level we will have in this graph a specific price level let us say it is p naught okay now we introduce a change in price level what happens when price level changes okay so what happens when when price uh, you know price level changes we need to find out the effect of change in price level suppose uh, price decreases from p naught to let us say it decreases from p naught to p1 okay suppose we have assumed that let us say price decreases from this initial price level of p naught to p1 okay and we will examine the effect on is and lm curves what will be the effect of change in price level on is curve and lm curve okay here is curve will remain unaffected okay so is there will be no change in the is curve because the change in price okay does not affect the is curve at all because it is components that are the investment uh, or we have the government spending or the tax rates okay they are assumed to be constant okay so change in price level will cause no effect on the is curve our, our is curve will remain as it is but what happens to lm curve okay let's take an example when price decreases okay so price has decreased from p naught to p1 when price has decreased okay what happens to real money supply we know real money supply is simply equal to the money that is nominal money supply upon price level okay now when this price level has decreased that means denominator has decreased here that means this whole term will increase so real money supply will increase 
are you getting my point i am saying when price has decreased we know that real money supply is simply the nominal money supply upon price level when price has decreased that means the denominator has decreased here when denominator de uh, decreases the number itself becomes uh, you know bigger comparatively uh, to the earlier okay simple thing if we have uh, let us say we have let us say we have nominal money supply of 100 and price level initially was 10 okay that means our real money supply initially was 10 upon 100 upon 10 which comes out to be 10 if price level decreases let us say let us say price level decreases from uh, 10 to 5 okay so our real money supply will increase because 10 upon 5 will be 20 okay when denominator decreases the whole term becomes uh, big comparatively okay so what we have seen here when price decreases real money supply has increases or increased okay as a result of this lm shifts towards right okay so our lm curve will shift towards right here okay let us say it is lm lm one here okay now you can see here is curve intersects lm one at point let us say it is a point f okay at point f now corresponding to this point f you can see here interest rate has decreased from i naught to let us say i1 when interest rate and let me write it here when interest rate okay falls from i naught to i1 that means when interest rate decreases our investment will increase when investment increases correspondingly our output will increase okay so our output will increase from y naught to let us say it is y1 okay now when we take this y1 here and let us draw it here corresponding to the level of y1 is output our price level we have assumed it falls from p naught to p1 when price level has decreased our output level has increased that means uh, let's take this point okay this point so initially we were at this point now we are at this point and when we join these two points we will get a downward sloping aggregate demand curve okay aggregate demand increases with decrease in price level and decreases with increase in price level and same effect can be shown by when money when price level increases okay so uh, if we can uh, draw it here same logic let us say now price level increases okay if price level increases as i told you is curve will not change at all is curve remains unaffected by the change in price level when price level increases our real money supply let us say price level has increased from p naught to p2 okay p2 that means our real money supply and let's write it here uh, real money supply which is equal to m s nominal money supply upon p so when denominator has increased this whole term real money supply will decrease real money supply will decrease okay since denominator has increased this whole number will become uh, you know smaller that means when price level increases money supply decreases that means our lm curve will shift leftwards okay let us say this is lm2 okay now new equilibrium will be at this point uh, at the interest level of let us say i2 and corresponding to this we will have output level of let us say y2 simple thing interest rate has increased in interest rate increases that means investment will decrease when investment will decrease that means output level will decrease that is being shown here the decrease in output level from y naught to y2 okay when output has decreased and if we draw this point here okay y2 
corresponding to this y2 it increases we have seen when price has increased from p0 to p2 output has fallen from y0 to y2 let's take this point okay so we will get a downward sloping aggregate demand curve i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you